Welcome to 10 Minutes Travel. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 of the best places to visit in Riyadh. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to 10 Minutes Travel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest video. For this list, we're looking at the spots that have made Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, a go-to Middle East destination for honeymooners' families and worldly travelers. Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia, is a vibrant cultural center, where old fortresses are seen side by side with modern glass-fronted high-rises. Measuring nearly 1,800 square kilometers, the majority of the captivating sites are to be found in the ancient city center, such as the remains of the wall that protected this formerly strategic point along the desert trading route. The nation of Saudi Arabia and the city of Riyadh are not usually thought of as tourist attractions for many people, particularly those from the U.S. However, the nation is attempting to become a more popular destination with its brand new electronic visa process that permits easy access to the country with one entry visa. So, what are the most outstanding locations to check out in Riyadh and what should you not miss out on? Here are some of the city's classic and modern marvels. Number 10. Al-Mazmak Fort Mazmak Fort is one of the most renowned sites in Riyadh, which translates to mean strong in the local language. It is believed by the locals that if this fortress falls, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia will also fall. This fortress, made from clay and mud brick, was built in the 19th century, and was used in the recapturing of Riyadh in 1902, which was a crucial part of the unification of the kingdom. It is now open to the public as a museum to showcase the history of the city and the kingdom as a whole. I found the artifacts and architecture in the fortress to be well-preserved, such as the luxurious Arabic sitting room with a throne. Although admission to the museum is free, I suggest checking for the admission rules beforehand, as there are family days, singles days, female days. Furthermore, I highly suggest that you acquire the self-directed walking tour of Riyadh's history and Al-Mazmak to have a more thorough experience of the fortress and nearby areas without the requirement of a guided tour. Number 9. Riyadh Desert The Golden Desert of Riyadh is one of the top attractions in Riyadh that many tourists are eager to explore. From desert adventures to cultural exploration, you will find a number of tours to choose from to explore the desert in your own style. Number 8, Dira Square, which is also referred to as Justice Square or Chop Chop Square, is a contemporary public plaza in which capital punishment by decapitation is still carried out. Saudi Arabia is the only nation that continues to do this in a public forum. After the Friday prayer, police and other administration personnel clear the square to permit the executions. Once the condemned individual has been beheaded, the severed head is sewn back onto the body, and they are both wrapped up for the final rites and taken away. Despite the fact that it may not be the ideal setting to be in while an execution takes place, the area is a pleasant spot to visit, with kids running around and playing with the water fountains. Number 7. al Faisaliyah Tower The al Faisaliyah Tower stands out in the Riyadh skyline due to its pointed structure that reaches for the heavens and its glittering golden ball on top. Its design is a modern take on classic Arabic architecture that was prevalent in the city in the past. At a whopping 267 meters, this is the fourth highest tower in the city, with 44 floors. As with the Kingdom Tower, one can ascend to its observation deck at the top and find a shopping mall at its base. I suggest picking either one of the two structures to check out its sky bridge platform. Number 6. The Edge of the World Have you heard of Jebel Firain? It is a popular destination in Saudi Arabia that has earned the nickname the Edge of the World due to its 300-meter-high cliffs that provide an uninterrupted view of the horizon. The view is both stunning and terrifying at the same time. The plains below the cliff were actually the bottom of the ocean millions of years ago, and you can see the dried rivers running through the land and the unspoiled desert landscape from the top. If you're lucky, you may even spot some camels moving along the ancient caravan route that passed through this area. When you're there, don't forget to take a look around for some fossils. This is evidence of when the eastern part of the Arabian Peninsula was a shallow tropical sea during the Jurassic period. The best way to get to the edge of the world is by taking a day tour from Riyadh. Number 5. Dira Souk, which is also referred to as Al Tumairi Souk, and Al Zel Souk is located in the old district close to Al Mazmak Fort. It is renowned for the gold market and antique stalls. There are hundreds of little shops that have a wide range of items on sale. 
such as rugs, gold, silver, souvenirs, traditional clothing and props, antiques and furniture. The majority of retailers are able to converse in English, which makes it a tourist-friendly place to visit. You can go from shop to shop and haggle over prices. In my opinion, this is not only one of the most sought-after spots for tourists in Riyadh, but also the most exciting souk I have been to, as it offers a glimpse into the past with the antique artifacts that are sold there. If you are only able to visit one souk in Riyadh, make sure to visit this one. On the other hand, if you have the time and would like to travel outside of the city, you can visit Souk Al Jamal, which is situated 30 km north of the city center. This is an enormous trading hub for camels located in the Arabian Peninsula, so it is a great place to get a taste of the local culture. If you wish to participate in the bidding, you should ask the locals about the current location and condition of the market, as it is presently undergoing some changes. Number 4. Muraba Palace and the King Abdul Aziz Historical Center provides an eye-opening look at the past of Saudi Arabia. The building itself is a contemporary version of traditional Saudi royalty construction, and it encloses the genuine former royal palace of Muraba, which is really worth a trip. Visitors can explore the deserted yard house, the antique car collection, the old majlis, and an old water tower. There is also a reconstructed mosque, derived from the original royal mosque that was connected to the palace. The center has now become the cultural core of modern-day Riyadh. In fact, the center is not only the Muraba Palace complex, but it consists of multiple historic sites throughout the city, such as al Mazmak Fortress. Number 3. Historical Diria, situated in the northern outskirts of the metropolis. Diria formerly served as the home of the Saudi royal family and the original capital of the country. This UNESCO heritage site had been one of the biggest cities in the Arabian Peninsula till it was destroyed in the early 19th century during a long siege when the armies of the Ottoman and Saudi collided. Tourists can now visit Diria and appreciate its ancient mud architecture, plentiful parks, and remarkable areas, one of them being the Saad bin Saud Palace, renowned for its courtyard. You can go to Diria by taking a cab to the outskirts of the city, or you can take an in-depth half-day tour like this. Number 2. The National Museum, located in close proximity to Maraba Palace, is located in a contemporary edifice, thus making it eligible for this category. It is a part of the King Abdul Aziz Historical Center, which is brimming with significant relics. The museum has a vast array of objects that characterize Saudi culture and its people. There are fossils, ancient architectures and constructions, pre-Islamic trading paths, and pieces from the Arab kingdoms showcased in the museum. The admission charge for adults is SAR 10 and it is free for kids. There are audio-visual shows in both English and Arabic. Number 1. Skybridge at Kingdom Center If you're looking for a bird's-eye view of Riyadh, the Skybridge is your go-to spot. The bridge is situated on the 50th floor of the Kingdom Tower, currently the third highest tower in Riyadh. Spanning a length of 65 meters, it offers an incredible panoramic view of the city from a height of 300 meters. Additionally, the Kingdom Center Mall is located at the base of the skyscraper, offering a variety of luxury brands. The views from the bridge are spectacular both during the day and night, but the night view is arguably more mesmerizing with the city lights and the other towers illuminated in a range of colors. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other recent videos from 10 Minutes Travel and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.